What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Spear Baby Kale, and we back with another timeless general message. Nine times out of ten, if you hear right now, this message is probably meant for you, so take what resonate. Leave the rest out. Everything is for the highest good, no harm and none, no deception, no trickery. Let's dive right into it. Thank you, Absolute Source, Spirit Guys, and all the divine beings for coming through in this message. Thank you also to any benevolent ancestors that come through. Or anyone that wants to give a specific message for the highest good and the harm and none, no deception, no trickery. Everything for the highest good and the harm and none. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for coming in and protecting us, shielding us from any negative energies, any negative energy transference, any negative projections, or any negative interference on all levels, time, space, places, dimensions, realities, and locations. Let's dive right into it. I haven't been here for a minute. Um... About a week. I ain't been here for about a week because it's my birthday. Thank you everybody for your birthday wishes and anything you might have sent. Everything is appreciated. Also, happy St. Patrick's Day. Today is St. Patrick's Day. Whenever you come across this, it's still probably meant for you. Might be a little extra lucky. 11, 1 11 on the clock, as I said, it. Yeah, a little extra lucky. So you still got the St. Patrick's Day uh, energy around you. But yeah, today is St. Patrick's Day. I hope everybody is feeling lucky. Finding a pot of gold, turning up, doing whatever you do on St. Patrick's Day. I'm not really a big, big holiday person, but I'm getting more into it. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, also, if you would like to book a personal reading, any messages from me, uh, you can book at insomniadreams369.com. You also could uh, email me at insomniadreamsllc at gmail.com. I also got products on my website, so check those out. I got music on my YouTube, and I also got some music on all platforms at Spirit Baby Kill, so check me out. Other than that, let's dive right into this message. Let's see what messages we get from Absolute Source, any spirit guys, any art angels, or anyone else for the high good and harm none with the most benevolent outcomes. On this St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day, I got about, ooh. I got about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six dicks we gonna dive into. So it's gonna be pretty in depth, but I ain't gonna make it too long. So let's see what messages we get from my handmade oracle first and foremost. Hard just flying out. One card, Spirit. I can't do nothing with five, ten cards. Like, I'm not finna sit there and read all them, Spirit. There's nothing I can do with that. I'm gonna get so confused so quick. Ears ringing. Spirit trying to talk to you. That was the first card. Your ears may be ringing at this time. That's a sign. That is a sign. Through 12 on the clock, as I said, that crown chakra. A lot of purple popping out already. Your ears could be ringing. The universe trying to connect with you to your crown chakra. You may need to cleanse your um, crown chakra. We had karmic relationship come out in reverse. In reverse. So the universe, our angels at KL. So yeah. Right now, you should be, three through three on the clock, as I said. Right now, I feel like you should be working with the violet flame. You could already be working with it, but I got heavy violet flame energies right now. All three of these cards are purple. Trying to help you get rid of this karmic relationship. Release the last bits of karma that might be attaching you to this relationship. Still, you not might not be able to let go and let God. Giving the situation to God. But our angel Zachiel coming through. They let you know he's trying to help you right now. Work with the violet flame. That's why your ears could be ringing. Work with the violet flame to release these negative residual or uh, karmic lower denser energies. That's what the violet flame is all about. 414 o'clock as I say that. 333 three, three also came out. So you could be seeing 333 three, three a lot. Thought programming. He's trying to help you remove those negative thought programming. Any negative energies that might be tying you to a karmic relationship or holding you back, period. He's heavily trying to help you cleanse when it comes to karma at this time. To help you raise your vibration above all of these things. Get your mind, body, and soul in alignment. 333. Three, three. Thought programming, changing your thoughts. He also coming in with the violet flame to help you change the way that you think. Any programming that might be negatively affecting you, removing it and putting in new programs. Crown chakra again, helping you connect more with the divine. 
So work with our angel Zeke at this time with divided flame to help you remove any residual negative karmic energies. Remove that karmic relationship because it came out in reverse. So it's basically saying that it's not in the upright. So that's what's happening at this time. He's coming through to help you remove this karmic relationship or any energies that might be still holding on to you from this karmic relationship and any thought programming is also when it comes to this karmic relationship. So any thought programming, period, that might be holding you back. Take your high resonation. Lord Shiva coming to you too. You know, Lord Shiva works with the tantric energies to help you remove lower density karmic energies also. He also helps you tap into your third eye to see past anything you might need to ascend karmic energies. Lord Shiva came out. <laughs> Let me get about one or two more. 555 five, five on the clock as I say that. So you could be going through heavily, heavy changes at this time. You could be seeing 555. Five, five. Miracles. Lapis Lazuli. Now nah, we ain't gonna take neither one of those. My cat, though. Okay, and this Incubus card. So that karmic relationship, take how it resonate. You could be a male, you could be a female. An Incubus is the male version of a sucker bitch, which is sort of like an energy parasite, energy vampire type energy. But uh, yeah, this could be. Oh my god, bro. Oh, no, no, no. Confirm. Ranger Raphael, Yahshua, Jesus. Okay. So there's additional people that's going to come through and help you work with this energy. You got Archangel Zechariah, you got Lord Shiva that came out, Archangel Raphael to help you heal your heart, and we also got Ye um, Jesus come through, Yahshua. Yahshua. So, in this karmic relationship that's in reverse because it's getting removed, there's an incubus. So, as I was saying, Sammy Lemon on the clock, as I said, take it how it resonates. This incubus could be an astral parasite. It could be the person that you were dealing with in this karmic relationship that is draining you, attached itself to you. Um, but at this time, you got all these spirit beings around you, Lord Shiva, Archangel Zechariah with Divine Flame. Or Andrew Raphael with his healing green energy and Yeshua with his demon removal. I, I had to give him that superpower. A demon removal to help you remove. And Mark Kelly. Mark Kelly was the one that came through with the Incubus to let you know that she totally finna destroy this for you. She totally finna rid this for you. This is the main person that is on this type of energy. So this Incubus has attached itself to you. It's mingled in your energy. Take how it resonates. Like I said, I'm a male. But the incubus is a male energy, so it could be a, a copycat, B, somebody just weird, just, you know, men are weird too. So this could be some type of weird man energies that's project, projecting energies onto me or onto you that is trying to attach itself to, to you. I'm just using myself as an example. Attach itself to you. But you have some type of incubus energy that is attached to you or keeps getting your energy. At this time, let go and let God Connect with your crown chakra, remove your thought pro programmings that has power over you. Our angels that are coming through to help remove any negative energies or karmic energies that attracts this type of energy. My Kelly totally coming in, eradicating the energy. Lord Shiva, her divine counterpart, came out also, so they tag teaming as a balance. Totally removing those energies out of your body. You had a theory about it come out too. So this way it possibly could be attached to or lingering in or affecting you. So healing the ethereal body too. You also going through some ethereal body healing. And then we had our angel Raphael and Yahshua come out. So our angel Raphael with his healing energy, healing you back to a state after this these energies are removed. So when the emptiness comes in, you'll be filled back up with love and miracles in Yahshua. To also help you remove any lingering energies too and to see you healing energies because you know you're all about healing. So yeah, removing these this negative karmic energy away from you and you got a full team behind you at this time helping you do that everything's coming into alignment and it's just a general message so take out and resonate okay what's the next dick what's the next dick because that's enough of it I try, I try to bounce around it but hey it was time to talk about that that incubus and it's getting removed about your energy so no more worrying if you had if you had 
some deep thoughts or you've been stressing or worrying about energies affecting you like this, worry no more. The only thing you should be worrying about is how fast these one, two, three, four, five people, spirit beings, spirit guides, when to come in and totally wreck this energy, remove it out of your energy and totally heal you. So next we're gonna dive into a little personal favorite I haven't worked with in a minute and it is the Earth Warriors Oracle. So let's see what messages we get from the Earth Warriors. I like that this message. It ain't a message we so much want to hear, but it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's time to embrace the shadows to see what exactly is going on in the shadows and working with energies that are going to be able to help us remove them. Because all we're doing is observing, becoming aware, and giving the rest up to God. That is just annoying energy. It's time for that annoying energy to be removed. That's the way I'm feeling. It's just annoying. It has no, no power over you. And that's why our angels is that Kaya really finna come in and reprogram you to let you know nothing has power over you. From this point forward, it's time to align your mind, body, and soul. You can't know you this powerful, but at the same time, think something that's less powerful and has to drain you of power has power over you. It could put you down at a level where it could, you know, really do some damage, but... You always gonna have this spark inside you and you got too many powerful beings around you that all you gotta do is ask for help and they're gonna read it instantly and put you at a balanced state. Okay, I've been shuffling these while these thick cards. Let's see what messages we get. Let me go on pool. I mean, at least shuffle like 11, 12, 13 times. My you and we're gonna do both for them. They long, but I know how to break them down now. First card we had was number 36, 3 plus 6 is 9, 3, 6, 9. Mayu, Mayu, Soma from the Galactic Heart, Mayu. See that beautiful card. Number 36. Soma from the Galactic Heart. The Divine Mother's Milk of the Galaxy is feeding your soul, Ma Kelly. An expansion of your horizon, your spiritual purpose, and your sacred responsibilities is taking place. The divine potential within you is awakening at a high turn of the creative spiral of consciousness. This oracle is a prophecy of ascension and grace. Your soul has been growing through a deep spiritual feeding process and is growing rapidly. The evidence of this is in the outer world. The evidence of this in the outer world will be a sense of expanded opportunity, reach, connection, and spiritual experience. This oracle foretells the welcoming of a new phase in life. Newborn, newborn energies and fertility, fertility, whether biological, creative, or psychological, are being stimulated. Thought programs. The oracle indicates the discovery, development, and expression of talents. An increasingly public public profile which moves you into the spotlight can help you fulfill your divine life mission provided that you keep your inner connection to spirit as the highest priority the oracle speaks of soul healing around matters of trust spirit mother and abundance mm. Ooh, my kelly energies my you star goddess of the milky way was seen clearly in the skies of the ancient incas in Western traditions, the Milky Way is recognized as a metaphor for nourishment and the milk of the heavens. So, Mark Kelly removing, I'm not just going to say Mark Kelly, but the Divine Mother removing any energies away from you at this time and nourishing you. When she appears as an oracle, it is an omen of happiness, satisfaction, and fulfillment. If you develop your spiritual practice, you shall come to experience feeling drunk on divine bliss like a baby in an ecstasy of compassion. Complete fulfillment through the mother's milk. When we connect with the galactic heart, it is a sign of spiritual advancement. We are growing in such a way that our being becomes ready, willing, and able to take up more spiritual space in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere. You will experience that spiritual growth in your life according to your talents. If you are a thinker, your ideas will become more inspired, expansive, and original. If you are a healer, you will experience the new flow of a 
You experience the flow of a new quality of divine consciousness through your work. If you are a leader, you experience a feeling of being overshadowed by something truly great, kind, and helpful, whilst at the same time feeling more fearless, bold, and confident to speak your truth and guide those your guide those in your care. Whatever the truth of your soul, whatever the truth of your soul encounters with the galactic heart are granted to evoke, expand, and empower it upon the earth. To allow ourselves to be spiritually fed, we need to feel, trust, and surrender into the divine feminine. We need to know when to latch on and when to detach from the inflow of spiritual energy. We need to allow for the mind, body, and soul to adjust to the increased levels of light and spiritual nutrition and to metabolize that for healing growth. If we have had difficult issues around Trust, support, and nourishment as human beings, it is important to clear those issues through grace so we can receive the heavenly nectar without greed or fear. All right. Here you go to healing process. I'm sorry. I invoke the unconditional love of the galactic heart and give thanks for all that is good, true, and nourishing of my being on all levels through unconditional love. I surrender with forgiveness and blessing any issue to do with mothering or being mothered, whether too much or too little. I release myself from false guilt, shame, and judgment now. I release the mother figures in my life with forgiveness in my heart, for I no longer wish to hold on to old pain. I acknowledge I am worthy and deserving of nourishment straight from the sacred milk of unconditional love from the galactic mother. May all mothers receive healing and guidance, blessing and assistance from the divine mother of all souls. With trust, I now open myself to receive what is needed for the ecstatic fulfillment of my being through divine grace with gratitude, so it is. Amen. Um, namaste. Oh, <laughs> uh, Ashe, whatever you want to say. Uh, the next card we got is Chayaska, the star of Venus. So a lot of feminine energy popping up. Uh, a lot of feminine energy popping up. Motherly energy. This ain't the mother energy, but a lot of feminine, divine, feminine, uh, divine mother energy coming through. Star of Venus, number 20. Chayaska, star of Venus, support, supports an inner shift to higher consciousness. Whether or not you consider yourself to be financially skillful, part of your sacred power and purpose includes the healing of economic and financial matters in your life and the world. You are meant to experience abundance, creating and sharing prosperity from a place of inner spiritual security, a healing liberation from poverty Consciousness allows the universe to work through you more easily without the obstruction of negative conditioning. Mm. Mm. Negative conditioning, that's their thought program card again. I was looking back at the old cards we had to see what they tied into. That's their thought programming, crown chakra, receiving, mind, body, and soul. Okay, financial healing is indicated. Let go of fear and trust unconditionally that the universe is supporting you. What brings you a sense of joy, purpose, and passionate devotion? Focus on that. Believe in your ability to thrive by being and expressing your authentic self. Notice how you relax into flow and more easily attract what you need when you acknowledge that the universe wants you to flourish through being you. Focus on putting your beautiful beliefs out into the world not in consuming the negativity or fear of others. Give of your spirit abundantly. Nothing is beyond the reach of divine assistance. Trust in this, and you can fulfill your purpose of being a positive influence in the world. 33 on the clock as I say that. The Oracle of Chayaska heralds a transition into a new reality of higher consciousness 
and healed experience regarding money, financial power, and resources. It asks you to allow beauty into your life. This oracle guides you to give up the false shame of not having enough or guilt for having too much. Your true worth is a matter of soul and has nothing to do with material things. As you relax and acknowledge the love that the universe has for you, your material reality will unfold with grace and divine support. Place your sense of security not in the amount of money you have, but in the unconditional love and endless generosity that the universe wishes to share with you. Trust that the universe will provide you with all you need to live your life fully. When you are given something, accept it and consult your heart on how you might share their resource with wisdom. Permit yourself to stop making financial affairs an issue in your mind. Trust that the universe knows what it's doing and all concerns can be resolved according to a loving higher intelligence. Okay, here go another healing process, and then we'll move on to the next deck. Place one hand on your heart and say out loud, I give thanks for the abundance of grace available for all beings. I open my heart to let go of diminishing beliefs and interpretations of events. I no longer carry fear in my heart. My heart is filled with trust and peace. I give thanks for divine intervention, innovation, and blessings on behalf of all beings and all matters of economics. Economics, Great spirit of love, please guide, assist, and protect each one of us in all worldly matters. It says, standing to the west or to your left, like this way, if you prefer, hold out your left arm, palm facing upward, and say out loud, by the evening star, I now give all matters of concern to the great beloved spirit that are healed, that they are healed in your hand and resolved by your grace. Hold that for a minute and then go to the other hand, which is your right arm, and say, by the morning star, the great, the great beloved spirit now gives me what all I need for divine fulfillment, for the overflowing of divine grace into this world so that love will flourish through all beings. Amen. You have completed your healing process. So you can go back and redo that however you want to do it, or you can just sit and let me do it for you. You know, be open to receive. But yeah, that's all we got from the Earth Warriors, the Galactic Mother coming through, my Kelly energy, or uh, Divine Mother energy coming through to give us the nourishment we need. I mean, we need, and it sounds like a lot of financial security, uh, releasing those thought programs, negative beliefs when it comes to you being financially safe, secure, and abundant. So heavily, heavy on the matters of you receiving everything you need from the universe when it comes to your security. You not over, you not trying to overdo it. You can't do too much, so you got to give it to the universe. Sell me lemons, I say that. Okay, so we down two decks. Next deck would be... Let's get some from beyond Lumiria. See what the beings of Lumiria got to say in this message. What has been harm now with the most benevolent outcomes? You letting go and letting God. As you doing it and re removing a bunch of those lower negative energies, the incubus energy we was talking about also, you letting your spirit team how it is. It's going to bring you in a lot more than you thought. You ain't just healing. You receiving too. Lumeria. What do Lumeria got to say? 808 on the clock. Heart chakra and journey to wholeness. Number 33. My favorite number. Journey to wholeness. Oh, I see a spider. That bitch gone. Ooh. Okay. First card we had was the heart chakra, number five. And if you notice, on both of these, these feminine uh, feminines are in their heart space. There's a glowing light coming from both of their heart spaces. 
So getting back to love, being open to love, and it's going to help you receive a lot more, a lot better. So number five was the heart chakra. That's what's coming up. Love. Unfurling back to love. Love for oneself and others. Relationships. Compassion. Forgiveness. Empathy. Connection. Receptivity. Acceptance. And generosity. This chart... This chakra card represents love in its many forms. It reminds you that everything in life can unfold into love or fear. When unfurled back enough, the foundation of all you seek lies in the universal desire and right to feel love and be loved. Love heals. God is love. This is the force that will change the world. To restore it, count everything in your life that you are grateful for. Think of all the... Think of all those you love and how that wonderful feeling radiates from your heart. Consider those you can forgive and extend that feeling out to them. Remember, we all just want to be loved and accepted, but insecurities and triggers can cause behaviors that move us away from this place. Have compassion. Know that others may be in their suffering. Expand your awareness and heart-centered radiance for all beings on the planet. Encapsulate earth in loving compassion. Bask in the blissful feeling of the planet and all of its perfect balance. Loving you back. Love. Returning back to love. And then the next card we got is Journey to Wholeness, number 33. 10, 10 on the clock as I say that. Ooh. My favorite card on the love. Okay. Journey to Wholeness. Uh, Self-acceptance. Wholeness. Unconditional love. Soul fragments returning. Accepting others as they are. Staying energetically present, accepting all parts of self, healing internal disease. Uh, traditional Japanese painters do not paint the eyes of a deity before the rest of the body. As they say, this is the element that brings it to life. But for this image, I did just that. It was one of the most profound painting experiences I have experienced. I created deep into the night, and no matter how ma and no matter how hard I tried, I could not put my paintbrush down. At 3 a.m., I was coasted away, and as I stepped back, I burst into tears. I was deeply upset at the being that had come alive on the canvas. Could be sensed in my art space and felt as if it was within me. The canvas held a half-formed being, part woman and, some and somewhat octopus. She was troubled, and the process she was in was quite disturbing to her. After doing a clearing, I was able to sleep. The next morning, my housemate inquired what had happened in the night as his pictures were falling off the walls. As I worked on the painting over the next week, it felt like this being was undergoing healing. She was brought to the wholeness. She was brought to wholeness and became quite beautiful when evolved energy systems and a sense of enlightenment oh my god she was brought to wholeness and became quite beautiful with evolved energy systems and a sense of enlightenment and knowing about her i have come to realize that this being is a hybrid there are there are mixed reports about what caused these beings to be this way but it seems that there was a distinct a distinct sense of upset and disease amongst them and they had an intense longing to be whole again some say the Lumerian hybrids were experiments done by the Atlanteans as they pushed what was possible. Others say they were a result of vibratory similarities as the Lumerians became more physicalized, causing them to mix with that of animals, depending on where this vibration was. Most accounts associate the hybrid form with disease and a sense of being outcast. It is understood that hybrids started appearing toward the end of Lumerian epoch as they were desensifying and the Atlantean mind-based intellect interfered with the ebb and flow of Lumerian ways, though this is not what caused their demise. This card is about loving yourself and others from a sense of wholeness. Heart chocolate. Exactly as you are right now. It is only from this space, space that healing can take place. We may find ourselves in relationships or scenarios where we can see great potential. We may have concepts of others that are not really who they are due to subconscious projections or ideals. We could have the idea that we feel better about ourselves when we achieve a goal or status, that success will somehow make everything better. Unfortunately, this takes us out of the present and makes our love somewhat conditional. 
conditional. To be a healer, transcend the perspective that the being in front of you needs to be fixed. Hold the vision that they are perfect as they are. From this place, they can heal themselves from the transformative power of acceptance. Acknowledge the full spectrum of a picture and bring any fractured parts back to the present moment. In this place, we are whole and thus have the power to step into the brightest version of ourselves. Mm. Love and accept everyone for they, who they are, especially yourself at this present moment. And it really has to do with the financial thing. The financial thing keeps popping up. Staying in love regardless of what you have or don't have. Accepting yourself for whatever situation you in. And it, I'm pretty sure it's going to make, I know it will make your situation times 10 better. But you got to accept the situation for it is and love yourself for who you are now. Not for who you can be when you get all the money and can do all this stuff for yourself. No, what can you do? How can you love yourself when you aren't fully able to take care of yourself financially? Okay. Next deck is Archangel Tarot, and then we'll dive into the light seals, and we'll be finished. So let's see what messages we get from the Archangels when it comes to this message. Threw out a, a lot of cards and that purple. Look at that purple again. Look at that purple again. I'm telling y'all, crown chakra, violet flame energy. It's coming through heavily, heavily to help you remove all these negative thought programs, thought forms, these beliefs, even karma when it comes to your perspective about yourself. Oh my god. Them folks trying to talk to you, man. Okay, the first card we had that came out was the star number 17. Archangel Joe Fiel. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. That just let me know once you change your perspective, start loving yourself, then you're able to change this whole situation around. I'm getting heavy finances. So Whatever the situation may be, you not being able to stay where you want to stay, all whatever this take it how it resonates. You coming out of the energy and believing in yourself. Now is the time to have great faith and hope. This star shines in the heavens as inspiration and as an affirmative sign to you that your plans can be viewed with enthusiasm and confidence. If you've been experiencing challenges, you can rest assured that your difficulties will quickly fade into the past. This is the light at the end of the tunnel, and it's a star you can make a wish upon. The most important element for your success is you believing in yourself. Our angel Joe Fayel can help you see how beautiful this moment in your life feels. Feel inspired to make long-term plans and know that you will be successful. Additional meanings of this card, a dream come true, renewed purpose, following your intuition, faith in yourself. Our angel Joe Fayel names means the beauty of God. And that's the beauty again with the Chioska Star Venus card. Beauty. Seeing the beauty within yourself is dead on you. Our angel Joe Fayel names mean the beauty of God. She excels as beautifying any situation or challenge that has arisen. You can also call upon Joe Fayel in times of joy and gratitude to help you anchor in your heart the positive energy of that moment, present moment. Next card we got is number 19, Archangel Uriel. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. And it's purple also. It's all about your thoughts. You can't get what you ain't thinking right. Okay, so if I want a million dollars, how am I going to get a million dollars if I really don't believe I can get a million dollars? Life is wonderful. Great things are headed your way and your plans will succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Keep your thoughts and words positive and you will thrive. Believe in yourself and those around you during this magical time in your life. Archangel Uriel brings brilliant epiphanies to those who ask for his help. Inspiring new ideas lead the way to abundance and happiness. Public recognition or awards are also very possible during this time. So the star 
with public recognition. Additional meanings of this card, happiness, a trustworthy relationship, understanding oneself, personal satisfaction. Uriel is the archangel known for brilliant ideas that come in golden flashes of light. He is also associated with emotional healing and understanding. Call upon Uriel whenever you're searching for a sunny disposition that brings with it success and exuberance. You got to see yourself like you imagine yourself to be now, not in the future, like now. And you got to think positively about yourself, your situation, and everything else. You got to have the highest perspective when it comes to yourself. Okay. The next card we got is number four, the Emperor. Our angel Uriel again. So Uriel coming through two times. Stability. Stability. Stability and efficiency. Taking charge of a situation. Ambitious plans. The Emperor. Leadership can change everything. This card may mean that it's time for you to be a leader to those around you. Or it might indicate that you will greatly benefit from the counsel of a skilled mentor who can give you invaluable advice. Our angel Uriel can provide you with brilliant new ideas on how to be a success. Creativity is a wonderful thing, but without logic, it can be chaos. What you need right now is a little organization and order. A few guidelines or, rule, or rules will help bring your dreams to life in the most efficient and elegant way possible. This is not meant to limit you, but to help you feel empowered and in control of the direction your, pl your plans are taking you. Additional meanings of this card, an encouraging and diplomatic leader, ambitious plans, stability, a promotion, protection, authority figures, and paternal role models. Our angel Uriel is the angel of great ideas and epiphany. His light, I mean, his name means the light of God. And truly, he can help you light your way to success. When you can't quite see your way clear to the next step, he is able to give you moments of revelation that seem to come out of nowhere. Ask Ar Archangel Uriel for assistance whenever you have a project or challenge where a creative solution is called for. Nothing but positive energy. You're going to have the stability you need to enforce this dream life that you wish upon yourself, but you got to see it for yourself. You got to remove all the energies that's in between it that's negatively affecting you from feeling like you deserve it. Loving yourself fully and loving others as they are anyway. But it's heavily on loving yourself exactly as you are so you can return every piece back to you. Mind, body, and soul. The, re the, the soul retrieval. But the only way you're doing this soul retrieval is you loving that part of you you don't want to look at. And it's going to bring it back to the frequency, frequency and vibration that it supposed to be at, a loving frequency and vibration uh the next card we got is nine of referee hold on my tongue and tired right now nine of raphael make a wish dreams become reality a joyful time of life it's a positive read a very positive read it's like nothing nothing <laughs> it ain't nothing that's like i can say it's just nothing but positivity coming out of this read the universe at this time just wants you to do the little addition of shadow work and look at yourself as you want the universe and everybody else to look at you. Two, 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 two on the clock as I say that. This page number is one, one, one. I also got one, one, one right here. You could be seeing one, one, one a lot. Make a wish. Now your hopes and dreams become a reality. Financial and material gratification flows to you as a reward for all of your hard work. Worries fade. Fears dissolve, life is magical. Beauty and happiness are yours. Life feels joyful and there is finally an opportunity to kick back and have some fun. Additional meanings of this card, your dreams coming true, simple pleasures of life, contentment, sensuality, and loyalty. This man a genie, you feel me? Well, we make a wish, you love me, love me, make a wish. You be seeing you love me, love me also. So you get whatever you want. You just got to believe at this point that this is what you want. I mean, that you deserve to get what you want. That's all heavily what this reading is telling you. And also being open to receive it too. To have, oh my God, to have the feelings that you need to receive everything that you want and desire and need. You feel me? Need comes first. 
Final addition to card at the bottom of the deck, we got Knight of Michael. Our Angel Michael letting us know he here. Strong, committed, intellectual, and diligent. It's time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotions. Sudden changes. So it's basically telling you, do what you know you need to be do. Don't let your emotions, which is the lower parts of yourself, get you so caught up that you can't take action. You can't make the steps that you need to or you can't reprogram your mind like you need to you got to think logically over your emotions at this time because you're going through sudden changes and as the change is happening you got to make sure you implement and doing the right things mm. time for swift action it will be necessary to move with great decisiveness and confidence develop a plan and know exactly how to carry it forward there is a great deal of activity this card encourages you to follow your mind over your heart for the results you desire while you urge, while you're urged to act quickly, you must you must not act impulsively. Uh, this is for a person who is able to accomplish many things at once. Someone with a brilliant mind and a capacity to solve any intellectual problem. Strong, focused, committed education. Additional meanings of this card: the champion of a, the champion of a cause, so a leader, which came out again with the emperor. Setting changes and lack of dip dip. Diplomacy. Hey, there's nothing more I can say. You standing up and being in your little position and you believe in yourself. Because how anybody else gonna believe in you if you ain't believe in yourself? Final dick, the light seals. Let's see what messages we get from the light seal tarot. For this beautiful message we have. Some of Pentacles. I don't want to get too confused. Six of Swords, a transition. Most definitely a transition. You being guided by spirit during this transition. From one phase of your life to the next. As you growing and building and putting energy into the many things you're doing at once. He's doing multiple things, but he's able to nurture all of them at the same time. Wow. And he's growing. It's growing. And then, we, like I said, we had six of swords after that. Then you know you're going through the transition from one phase of your life to another. From one mind state to another. Fully being led by spirit. Uh, you could be seeing ravens a lot. I've been seeing ravens a lot. Like, more than enough. The hermit. Going inside of yourself. Six, nine. Some six, nine. Doing that final inner work. To change those negative thought programs, those emotions, and anything else inside of yourself that might be negatively affecting you and pulling you away from what you truly want, need, desire. The I can't changing into I can and I will and I am. Find a card. Nine of Swords. Six nine six nine nine. So, yeah, going into the hermit to remove yourself from all these. And then we got Knight of Swords again. Quickly moving. Getting out of your emotions and choosing logic. And the fool. Hopping straight into the fool. Just doing it. Just doing it. Like I said, you had um, after the hermit. We had the Knight, of, the Knight of Swords. Your fears, your nightmares, all that. I can't. What ifs. Uh, the nightmares, the worries, the anxieties. That holds you back from feeling like you can't do this. You just, the universe won't make away anything that is negative and is not thinking that I can. The, uh, the lower emotions, the, no, the lower thoughts, you removing you. I mean, you getting up out of the energy, going into the Knight of Swords, which is the Knight of Michael again. Knight of Swords, time to move quickly. Choosing. All right, so. Okay, if I know I want to do this and I, I got to do this, I got to think better about myself. I got to do this action and I got to take this step. You knowing that's what you got to do and you doing it, not letting your emotions and the lower thoughts tell you you'll never be able to do it or whatever negativity that is feeding you that is not true. You getting out of that energy, out of that worry, head down, crying, I don't know how I'm going to do it type of energy. And you like, okay, let me, let me just... Do what my mind telling me. Let me do what I plan to do. Let me just continue moving forward. And I know that the universe possibly is going to make it work for me. 
and that leaves you in the fool position, that new beginning. You being able to embrace and trust spirit that is going to catch you when you fall and go head first into what you're trying to do. Because this whole reed has been telling you that. But you got to get out of your head. You got to get out of your head. You got to remove the poverty consciousness, the Lord, the consciousness that's holding you back and get into the consciousness that is infinite. And that's what I got for you. Once again, if you would like a personal message, you can email me at insomniadreams, LLC, at gmail.com. You also can book me at insomniadreams369.com. You can also check out some of my products on there, too. You can book a session with me with yoga, Ricky, personal message, like I said. Um, check out some of my music on my YouTube, too. But other than that, uh, thank you for checking me out. Thank you for supporting. I hope you have a blessed and abundant timeline. Anything that was transferred that doesn't need to be, I ask that it be removed. We are healed, shielded, and any negative energies or anything else that's not for the highest good be removed, banished, and protection be around us. I send healing blessings and abundance to anyone that has watched this and that needs it at this time. As always, have a blessed, abundant timeline.